We're getting close to Tonarello now. This is Piazza uh, de Sant'Egidio. Here it is, Tonarello. Five forty-seven. We got a table right away. How about that? I'm getting that one right there. Okay. Oh yeah. First pour. What did you order? I don't like arancini. Arancini? Oh my god. Look at these salads. We need olive oil. See some cheese. No. Oh, we missed it. Laura, Nacho <laughs> y Pepe. Yeah. Seafood and Diabola. Tonarello. The dinner for four people was 83, including yeah. two salads, four entrees, a bottle of wine, a bottle of water. It was a great deal. The food was incredible. I would get that place at least a 4.8. 486 something high because I would say anybody go there. The food's really good and it's a great value. I love that. It's awesome. Now we're going to Odalay to get some gelato next. Well, I knew what I wanted. I just went straight for the stracciatella. My favorite flavor. It's fantastic. Delicious. I think it's safe to say that we all really enjoyed our gelato. I'm gonna give this place probably like a four six, something like that. Delicious. I would say it's a little bit out of the way. If you're down in Tres de Berry, check it out for some gelato. I don't have anything compared to it So right now it's the best gelato I've ever had in Rome. There you go. Croissant with a view. There you go. A lot of vitamin C, yeah, with the OJ. Squeezed. Got a delicious croissant here, Jelly Field. True Italian flag with the green tomato. With the green tomato caprese sandwich, heated up, toasted. Mm. That place is called Chiuri Chiuri Bar. C I U R I C I U R I Bar. Great little restaurant. Get your uh, morning coffee and like just some small bites before a bike ride. So we're here at this little bar here. We got two carrots, an apple, and orange. A sweet of ginger. All right. Oh, that is perfect. Yeah. That is just perfect. Okay, so Celeste had a nice little espresso. I had a nice little centifuga, uh, centifuga di frutta, which is like a little fruit centrifuge. That's what it kind of means. Not a smoothie because the uh, all the pulp and the fiber is gone. Just like a little fruit juice, but it was really good. We're walking through more of a back area where the tourists aren't, kind of where the Romans eat and live and spend their time more so. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post. There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts. I'm going to enjoy a nice little lunch here. Midpoint of our bike tour today. Nice. <laughs> what is one is this? It has like a red sauce with pork cheese. Oh yeah. Bellies are full after eating at Trattoria Polese. And we're back on, I think we're gonna go see uh, Vatican here shortly. Here we are. We're at Tappuccino. Ciao. Grazie. And this is tortellino, this is classico. Okay. Okay. There you go. <laughs> this is amazing. Conscious. Amazing. Arancini. Amazing yeah. balls. It's not Arancino though. What's it oh. called? Uh, Sucli? Sucli. Uh -huh. These are nice. Oh. Buffalo mozzarella. There you go. Is it warm? Okay, and we are back at the Pantheon, right next to Al Antico Vignale. All right, so we are going over here to find the restaurant. All right, so we're just getting in line now. The people that, the most recent people that got their food, I asked them, they said they just got their food in 50 minutes, but the line now is longer. Five zero. Five zero, five zero, yeah. All right, we're actually getting in. So it took us about 40 minutes to get those sandwiches, actually not too bad. We're going to go eat them now beside the Pantheon, because why not? <laughs> the city's crazy. 
Just gonna go eat our sandwiches oh, by the Pantheon with opera singing in the background. Amazing. All right, let's see what all this hype is about. About the sandwich. You gotta go first. I mean, I guess you got Let's take a look at it. Prosciutto. Prosciutto. This is the Tartufo 4. All right, let's see. The prosciutto is really good. Prosciutto is really good. It's like peppery. Peppery? All right, why don't we try some? All right. Ready? Ready? Oh, you needed a giant background bite. So many flavors. <laughs> yeah. Wait, right? it's like garlicky, oniony, peppery. Oh, garlic. Prosciutto y. I mean, the prosciutto alone is fantastic. I don't know if it knocks my socks off this one. It doesn't one. knock my socks off. No, I yeah. thought it was going to be better. It's not as like, creamy as I thought it would be, like cheesy. Yeah. I thought it was going to be more cheese. I'm going to give this an 8 8 out of 10. What are you eating? A vegetarian one. Vegetarian? This is vegetariano 2, right? Mm -hmm. What's it have in it? Like pistachio pesto. Tracciatella. Um, dried tomato. No, no, no. Pomodoro Oh, that looks amazing. Italian flag. There you all go. over my face. <laughs> there you go. Wait. Oh, okay. That's too good. All right, can we be done? All right, I'm gonna give this. This is like a nine two out of ten. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, one scoop of gelato. All right, we can go get some gelato if you want it. Here we come up to a Joliti. <laughs> Alright, we got a sfogliatella and we're gonna pick some gelato over here. So let's have to pick a flavor. Here, huh? Yeah. Cute. <laughs> oh my god. So Celeste wanted to get what was it? Caramelized thing. I was like, don't get that. You're not gonna like it. It's so good. It's delicious. Yeah. And then the Nutella. Nutella the Oh my god. So creamy. It's unreal. It's better than like Nutella. It's better than Nutella. Yeah. Oh my god, can we get another one? Holy moly. All right, this place gets a high review. This is a 4.9. Oh my, oh my so god. Good. Although, the lady that we paid was very grumpy. That's how Italians are. I have, what, how many but, flavors in but it? The like guy, but the guy was really friendly. The game was a choy del. Yeah, right, like, all right, so this place is definitely getting a 4.9 because the value is the same too. The, the well, two scoops, the yeah, well, this was $3. The so three, three euros to so $3. The choy del was one, one euro. euro. But yeah, three euro. Like six, six or seven at least. Yeah, yeah definitely. And it's not even nearly as much. <laughs> no, that Nutella might be some of the best, like, dessert I've ever had. It's incredible. Oh, yeah. Have you, have you, it's like a melted brownie. Yeah. Uh, like a melted Nutella brownie. It's amazing. It's so good. All right, we are in Florence. We are going to grab a quick panino, a sandwich, for our wine tour, which starts at 2 o'clock. About 1 o'clock now, we're walking down to La Feitunta. So this is the line right here for Al Antico Vignayo. We're going to another place that our our hotel receptionist said is equally as good, but there shouldn't be a line. Ooh, this looks good. Yeah. Here's your Coke. Yeah, my Coke. Since you left me here, so come on. Why won't you reappear? Things that I said. La Fetunta. Grilled veggies, free. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. This is absolutely amazing. We can grow veggies, tomatoes, unripe tomatoes. Incredible. All right, we are at Castello di Veritano, doing a little bit of a wine tasting here. Five thousand bottles less. A little bit more wine in there, so it doesn't give me oxygen. Bring in these big barrels. Tasting time. About to start the tasting here. We're 
and Greve here. A quick little stop here to check out the little central palazzo piazza. Tanius wine tasting here. Let's do it. This is a wine vending machine. I think you have to scan it first, Chris. Yeah. So take the barcode, put it on there. Then you gotta choose. Oh my god. <laughs> there you go. That's it. That's all you get. What was that, a dollar? A uh, one seven nine eight? There's more over there, too, okay. Yeah. And there's some inside, yeah, too. And there's some inside. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, here's like the tasting the half glass and the full glass there. There you go. Wow. That's awesome. Cool. Looks good. This looks very good. All right, we're out. I'm gonna grab a bite to eat here before the end of the night. All right, we got gelato at Vivoli. Let me see it real quick. It's from 1930. It's I think pretty good. Apparently they're the oldest in Florence. Oldest in Florence. It was like three euro for three flavors. Three euro for three flavors. I like it. One euro for one, probably. Two uh -huh. for two. You know? Man, so we got the hazelnut and the pistachio. It, Americans say pistachio wrong. It's, we say pistachio, but it's actually pistachio. Anyway, the hazelnut and the pistachio are amazing. Osteria Gatto e la Vol... What was it? Volpa? I'll put it at the text here. Alright, we got takeaway. We got a guanciale dish. Uh, pasta and some salads. We'll let you know how it goes. I guess in Italy, they don't put any salad dressing on their salads unless it's like a Caesar. So we forgot to ask for dressing. So it's just plain vegetables, which I'm fine with, but other people are not. Last bites of our dinner here as we sit in front of the Duomo and the Campanile. That place was awesome. I give that place like a solid 4.5, 4.6 out of 5. The guanciale was delicious. I loved it. The pasta in Italy is so much more al dente and like, like harder than I'm used to. I'm used to just like soft overcooked pasta. And it's so nice being al dente. <coughs> and I think the peachy is the thick pasta we're the having. Peachy. The peachy? <laughs> right, is that the pasta? Oh, maybe, yes. I have to double check on that, B-I-C-I. -I. And the burrata. Um, I think it was burrata di Pugliese, burrata from like Pugliese style. That was fantastic, so that place is good. Definitely recommend that one. All right, we are heading to our cooking class now. Just left the hotel and we'll cook some pasta. I think we're cooking ravioli or tortellini uh, along with some fettuccine or spaghetti, I believe. We'll see when we get there. This gelateria right up ahead is one of the best in Florence. We're gonna check it out after our cooking tour. We'll be back. So just a little foreshadowing for you. La Carabia. All right, we'll be there in a little bit. Pasta time. wraps up the cooking class. Celeste, what do you think? Oh. <laughs> it didn't even matter what the pasta tasted like because they gave you this. They yeah. gave you this delicious you really wine. This. We finished the class. Celeste, what did you think? <laughs> uh, the class was awesome. The food was delicious in the end. It was amazing. I think the wine is so It's 100% Sangiovese. This is like a very good wine. A lot of Chianti you get is like really like sharp, smacks your mouth. This is a lot smoother, easier to drink. 
Now we're going to get some gelato and probably some more wine. Oi. <laughs> I, you're feeling better. I am feeling so much better now. Yeah, the food in the cooking class was delicious. We had the uh, fettuccine with the uh, ragu, ravioli, and the mezzo ravioli. Yeah, they were both really good. One had nutmeg, the other one had uh, truffle. And they truffle, were yeah. very, very good. Definitely recommend that cooking class if you want to do a little pasta cooking. And it was all Americans. It was all millennials. I think that gave us energy too. All right, that's it. We're gonna go get some gelato. See you soon. Back at La Carraria Gelata and we're getting some gelato. Alright, we're going. What, which ones did you get? Uh, walnut and fig, and... I forget. <laughs> you forget? Yeah, forget. Alright, I got the, the berries. The berries, the dark chocolate, and the Nutella. It's good. What'd you guys get? Coffee? Coffee? Orange and dark chocolate. And I got the panna cotta. Panna cotta. Mmm. I think it's safe to say mine is delicious. Some olives growing here. <laughs> Do it! Do it, Kate! You gonna see what it tastes like? Yeah, it's bitter. Very bitter? Uh, okay, it's not ready yet. Are we gonna regret it if we don't get some cheese? There you go! <laughs> oh! Awesome! It's cute, it's grapes and yeah. little nuts. This place is legit. A little Tuscany wine shop yeah, here. Right. Awesome. We're now having a very nice Italian tourist experience here with our cheese and our wine and our bread. Celeste, chin chin. <laughs> All right, let me get a, a glimpse of this wine bottle one last time. San, San Polino. San Santantimo. Yeah. Let me see your bottle. Rosso di Monte Pucciano from Toscano. 2020. Very nice. Va bene. Va bene. We are power walking for pizza. Welcome to Bologna, day 10 of the vacation. You found it? Got pizza from Pizzeria Rosso Pomodoro in Bologna. They smell amazing, they look amazing, smell a lot of garlic and a lot of delicious tomatoes. This is yeah. the margarita, good. Yeah, it was like the only pizza hot. spot that we could find that's open at 10.45 in the morning before our 11. Who eats pizza at 10.45 in the morning? I had to start our little walking tour here. I just had to comment on this pizza. This is definitely some of the best pizza I've had. Probably the best pizza I've had here. Best pizza I've had in a long time. This is a solid like, four nine out of five pizza this margarita this is just absolutely garlic tomato salt the dough is absolutely the texture is amazing made a mess of it but because i thought it folded in half but here it is this is what it looks like this is so good amazing celeste <laughs> look at all these prosciutto oh my goodness look you got the beer craft beer Right there? Dude, this street's awesome. This is my favorite street I think we've walked down. Yeah. Look at this. Celeste. Oh my gosh. Parmigiano Reggiano. Look at this stuff. I think this is the place to go on this street. Oh, that's the Bolognese. This is definitely my favorite street. <laughs> I think we've walked down. Definitely in Bologna, maybe even in all of Italy so far. That street was amazing. So much good food to look at, fresh and raw. That was amazing. Via Pesciere Vecchia. I think it's like Old Fishery Street, something like that. You know what it means? I'm gonna go get lunch now. This is the street you want to go on right here. Five one. Here we are. Cheers. 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 This is like the Bologna. What was it original? Salami. Uh, this is delicious. Delicious uh, with like the onions and tomato sauce. Just the mortadella alone. The mortadella is good. Oh my God. All right. All right. Here we go. 
Tortellini, bolognese, tagliatelle, bolognese, tortellini, and brodo. Should I get out my ruler and make sure it's on 7mm? Yeah, you should. Re Maria La Vecchia Stana. This place looks poppin'. Everybody's getting their gelato ice cream. Try this place out and get a little gelato. People have spoken as a 4.6 on Google out of 1980 reviews, I think. Oh, they look good. Uh, oh. What are you getting? I want to get one of these. What is it? I don't know. I think it's like an ice cream sandwich. They look good. Don't they look good? Yeah. yeah. It's different than just gelato. Yeah. So I got schooled by an Italian. I said, Giacolo, it's Giacciola. Your pistachio san ice cream sandwich. I got Nutella and frutti di bosco. Di bosco. Oh yeah, you like that. Wild berries. berries yeah. How was your sandwich? Good. You don't like it. it. Better than it looks. You don't like it. The It'll be really better. Oh really uh, you know? yeah. yeah. Cool. Nutella, amazing. Wild berry, amazing. Four point six. Google had it right. Yep. Bam. I approve. I just have to say the Nutella is very smooth and the wild berry is like kind of tart and sweet, like kind of acidy. So you have like the acid and you have the fat. It's like a really good combination actually. There we go. Yeah, you want to just grab a table here? Yeah. <clears throat> Let's do it. Oh, what a letdown. Come on, open her up. Yeah, what'd you get, a letdown? What'd, you, what'd I get? You got margarita, mozzarella, margarita. Yeah, I got some cheese on it this time. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh my God. That is absolutely wild. That's the frittata with spaghetti, mozzarella, zucchini, and salmon. Got this Vera Baladin blonde ale. Very good. Finish our pizza and beer at the little market there at Rosso Pomodoro. Magnifico. Ooh. Oh, fruit smoothies. You got a blueberry, raspberry, some kind of wild berry, uh, and almond milk smoothie here. It's pretty darn good. This is 12 ounce coffee joint, I believe this is called. Good spot. Oh, Celeste. Finger Food Festival. Finger Food Festival. This looks kind of cool. I don't know what we found, but this place is pretty cool. Oh, wow. Bologna Street Food Festival. Wow, look at all of that meat cooking. Phew. What is it? What is it? We're gonna get some mombetas. Mombeta? Yeah. It smells like it's wrapped in bacon. Wrapped in bacon? Oh, that is a juicy bite. Woo. It's meaty. It's meaty? I'm glad we got more. Bombetta. I took a bite of this bad bambita. For a vegan, that's pretty delicious. It's like bacon almost wrapped around like ham. It's pretty tasty. What did you get? All of the above. Nice. Ribs, steak, sausage. Yeah, chicken. Oh my God. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of meat. Pesto or with Parmesan and lard. Oh yeah, that is delicious. That's like the best fancy cream grilled cheese I ever had in my life. Okay, we are walking to Bebere Centrale, a nice pizza spot here, pretty close to our hotel actually. It had good Google reviews. It looks tasty if you look at the Google images. Oh wait, wait, wait. So let's do it. <laughs> we learned yesterday. But this means I'm, I'm hungry and like, do you want to go get food? So we will show you some pizza in just a few minutes. Chin chin. This one, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know how to say it. What is it? I don't know what it is, it's like but we're fried, gonna eat it. It's like fried dough. 
It actually has a lot of air in it. Air. Sweet, salty, kind of meaty, smoky. Pretty good. Oh, these look good. Yummy, yummy. Margarita. I oh, love the avalas. All right, so quick little review of Berbere, Berbere, Pizzeria. I'm gonna say like a four six. It was good pizza, not the best I've ever had in my life, but it was some of the best pizza we had on the trip so far. Ordering was a little bit weird, but it was fine. Beer was good, got the Hellas. I would say check it out if you're looking for some good pizza. Good. Mm -hmm. Good thing you saved your bread. Yeah, I kind of thought that it would be. Carbonara again here. Top on the line. Looks Carletta. good. And Chris, you got the seafood risotto from the tagliatella with mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> Straight. Okay, we just finished dinner, eating dinner at Al Cantinone. And the food was good. Chris had a really good experience. Wine was good. Wine was only like 20 euros, which is nice for us because I'm used to spending like $60 minimum to get a decent bottle of wine in the US. Um, the food was pretty good. It wasn't like the best food we've had. I would give this place probably a solid 4.2, 4.3, something like that. All right, we're going to get ice cream. That's the So we have dark chocolate, mango, tiramisu. What'd you guys get? Tiramisu. Tiramisu. Tiramisu, Nutella, and um, the hazelnut. All right, I want to try some. The perfect way to end the evening. That's good. Gelato plus Duomo. Actually, this is the perfect way to end Italy. It is. It's like house keller. It's good. Light it up. <laughs> Look at these bad boys. Look at this. This looks spice first, boiled, got the pretzel, got the zen. Finish. Guten appetit. Taters, onions. These are little like pearled onions, yeah. Okay, four different kinds of broccoli cheeses here. I put mine in. She put hers in. We have two normal cheeses here. Is it ready? So let's see how this works, Celeste. Show us. <laughs> it looks amazing. Cheers, guys. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> All the food and the beers. That's the that works. That looks good. Look at us for there. We're all chewing on our wood. This tooth salt's pretty good. You smell that? <laughs> oh! <laughs>